First into the den is Bucharest-born Alex Buzianu, an entrepreneur primed to defend his enterprise's price tag. It's definitely going to be exciting. I hope they're not going to be too tough with me on the uh, evaluation. And there are two dragons in particular he wants to impress. I haven't decided yet which one would be the best. Obviously, Tukur Suleiman has the experience in, in my field, but um, Peter is definitely a very influential person. He would help uh, my, uh, my business tremendously. Influential, yes, but notoriously fiery when it comes to a company's valuation. Hello, Dragons. My name is Alex Buziano, and I'm here to offer you the opportunity to invest £90,000 in exchange for 7% of my business, the brand Temporary Forevers. We design and create leather goods for today's on-the-move professionals that wish to carry the essential gadgets and photography gear in a bag that is flexible and reflects their style and character. We bring an added versatility that is not found among other products on the market. The bag that I have with me is the first bag designed with two different faces, one that we carried as a backpack and the other as a messenger or briefcase. This makes it ideal for the commuters that want to cycle to work carrying a backpack. They can have a messenger and then they can take the straps off and walk to their meeting in a professional looking briefcase. We first made our goods available in December 2015 through a Kickstarter project and we successfully raised 136,000 pounds. Since then, We've uh, had another successful Kickstarter project, bringing in a total revenue of £330,000 in the last 15 months. Our objective this year is to make our goods available online and through retail stores across Europe, Asia and the States. Thank you for your time and uh, I'd like to show you some of the bags if possible. Luxury travel, laptop and camera bags are the proposition from Alex Buzianu. And that's just your... Yeah. He's offering just 7% equity in return for a £90,000 investment, which values his business at nearly £1.3 million. Pounds. Cheers, Peter. Peter Jones revived the fortunes of ailing photography brand Jessops. Will he think this business opportunity is picture perfect? Why f temporary forevers? That's a really odd name. Uh, the reason that is because uh, it comes from the uh, moments that you cherish and you remember that are temporary, but they last forever. So is this a temporary forever moment for you? Of course it is. Is it not for you as well? I don't, I don't know. What have been the sales in the last 12 months? 148,000 coming from the Kickstarter project, plus approximately 25,000. Uh, from online sales. Okay, so you basically sold £165,000 worth of product. Yes. And you're very specific about 90000 for 7%. Yes. Why? Considering that we have had approximately uh, 65000 in profit, I think it's a fair price. Would okay. you agree? No. I know a thing or two about bags. You do? Yeah. And this one here, for instance, retails for how much? It retails at 245 245 It's quite expensive. Yes. You, you're not at the low end. No. There, there are some very, very good imitation levers mm -hmm. that you put them next to each other, you, you, you won't even know it. it's an imitation lever. Can I say something? Sure. It's like having a uh, Lamborghini with a uh, Renault engine. So although on the outside it may look great, it's not the same thing. Yeah, but it's a different price point. <laughs> you yeah, know, I agree. I, I, what I'm trying to say to you is we're at that mid price point, which is a very difficult price point. I actually, I think a price point is probably okay, depending on the quality of the product. Mm -hmm. People will be prepared to pay, um, you know, for the leather. I love leather goods, satchels, backpacks, etc. Glad to hear. Um, I don't want to wear. Um, um, a, a bag that's a nylon material. I like leather, it looks, it looks good, the quality. And I think it's a massively growing market. For men. Uh, for men, exactly. Absolutely. So that's all good. Alex, I know this area very well. Mm -hmm. Your product's overpriced for what it is. I think the quality is mediocre at this price range. You're gonna struggle and struggle big. And I'm not gonna invest in you for that reason. 
and I'm out. Thank you. A skeptical Tuka Suleiman makes his exit. Has the retail tycoon's criticism torpedoed the entrepreneur's chances with the rest of the den? Alex, the fact that Tuka's in this market and knows it well and has told you that basically he doesn't think it's going to amount to much is interesting because you have to take that on board. It's a tough business and, and coming in at 90k for 7%, I think you make it harder. But you're a very, very, very investable individual. Thank you. I th can see a big opportunity. If I was to help you put this into Jessup's overnight, um, not only would we prove Tuka wrong, we'd prove Tej wrong as well, because he said you wouldn't get into retail. In fact, you could get into retail in the next two minutes. Alex, I am going to make you an offer. But I want a decent size return. So I'm going to offer you all of the money, but I want 35% of the company. Would you agree with me that valuing the company at approximately £250,000 is too low? No, because I've, for about 200,000, I introduced a brand that's doing just over a million pounds worth of sales in this type of market. We are pretty much experts in that field. Thank you. Thanks for the offer. A bullish offer from Peter Jones, one of Alex's preferred dragons. But he's demanding a hefty 28% more equity than the entrepreneur wanted to give away, slashing the value of his company by over a million pounds. Is Jenny Campbell poised to up the ante? The valuation at over a million. Yeah. Where's that derived from? I, um, I believe that everybody likes to negotiate a bit. So if I came with the most reasonable offer. Um. I think you're very, very persuasive. So, I will make you an offer for all of the money for 25% of your business. Thank you. I'd like to ask Peter, um, I think my business is worth about 10 times the profit if I evaluate it. Uh, so that would bring it to about 600,000 which would be 15%. Is that a fair way to evaluate it? No. No, because you're a startup, and I'd, I wouldn't even value it potentially at half that. But because it's a startup, it has the growth potential. It does. But you're asking me, would I value this at 600,000? I clearly wouldn't. I did come here thinking that my max would be 15%, but uh, I would really hope and appreciate if you took into account and accepted 20%. Um, I think it's a large enough sum to get you interested. Would I get my money back? Absolutely. I tell you what I will do. I would offer you all of the money for 35% and I would drop down to 25% when I receive my money back. Would you consider accepting 20% when you get your money back? I think that's more than fair. Alex, I wouldn't. No, it's got to be 25. Alex, let me just tell you where I am, because clearly the negotiation is going yeah, on all over there. Yeah, I'm sorry for leaving It's clear that you're targeting Peter for this investment. And for that reason, I'm going to withdraw my offer and say that I'm out. Sorry, sorry, freeze. Talking to Peter too much. Thank you, thank you. One deal summarily taken off the table leaving the entrepreneur at stalemate with Peter Jones. Alex, why don't you go to the back of the room and think about it? Will he accept the Dragon's offer of all the money for a 35% stake? He's gonna, he's gonna accept it. Dropping to 25% when he gets his cash back. Um. My worry is because Jessup's is only in one country, 
we wouldn't have enough sales to have the impact that um, I would want. If we have a Kickstarter project that does reach above £200,000, would you be willing to go down to 20%? Don't lose it for five percent. I don't understand, Alex, why you would go for a Kickstarter project when next week you get an order for two hundred thousand pounds. You don't need Kickstarter if you've got a fire starter. If you do place an order of two hundred thousand, would you be able to guarantee that? And I would accept twenty-five percent. Do you know what? I like the way you're negotiating. But I want, if we do a deal, I want us to realise that that's a partnership. I wouldn't want to go through a relationship where we end up negotiating. I understand. One last question. Would I have a salary included in this? A reasonable one? What's your reasonable salary? With, uh, with 30 be okay? You own 75% of this company when my money's repaid. So you could be earning a lot more than that. You would, in fact, uh, guarantee that you would place that order? I'll guarantee that. We have a deal. Goodness. Thank you very much. <laughs> well Appreciate done. it. Thanks for your patience. No, well done. Great. Well, Thank good you. negotiation. Thank you, guys. Well done. All Thanks the best. Bye-bye. Well done. <laughs> Finally, after a hard-fought battle on both sides, Alex exits the den with a deal. I would have preferred if it was 20%, but it feels amazing to, uh, to have Peter Jones on board right now. I really like him. I'm jealous. Very oh, thank you. <laughs> I'm really excited. 